I tried to build this intro like a true engineer would. It didn't turn out well. All I know is, hitting it makes it stronger, and it shoots people. Fight. Let's burn. Moving into the first round of the round, it appears that the red team do have a one-man advantage over the blues. However, it appears that the spy has been spotted by the scouts and will be finished off by the heavy with the brass beast. Patrick the Starfish does go down at the first down. How it appears that the Fina will be going down as well. However, there is another down on the blue team. Lots of the blue team going down right now. The red team do lose a single member, but the blue team has lost three. Is that most of the confrontation has been over the middle point. Howard appears that the center has been set up and will be taking down Athena again. I do believe that it will be a spy using its face. However, Downs going down all over the place. The red team do lose two more of their members, but so do the blues. It appears that a spy has been spotted once again, trying to be finished off by this heavy. Dispenser going up. Five, four, three, two, one. The blue team now down to only a minimal two members against seven of the red team. A central position has been leveled up and is being defended by a heavy as well. However, it appears that the heavy is now on the offensive, trying to charge in with the medic. However, the medic was not so eager, instead going with the spy, only to catch up with the heavy and healing him as well. However, it appears that Athena will be able to get a backstab on. Come at me, bro, the scout. Rather unlikely. However, it appears that we may just see something here. The heavy suspects something, but instead shoots at a red team member. Despite my efforts, it appears that there will be another gank on the medic this time. The heavy does lose his medic. It is now suspicious of absolutely everyone. It's a good thing that heavy, that friendly fire is not on. Otherwise, we would see significant amounts of downs of the red team from their own heavy. However, it appears that the red team will be attempting to cap the point. Instead of abandoning it and allowing the game to continue with four minutes left on the clock, however, it appears that if the blue team has been reduced to a single member as the heavy spy checks absolutely everything within his vicinity, including the poster, the camera, the light, and the walls. However, it appears that there is another down by a Yigo on Sir Darkus using the pistol. A Yigo, despite being the only member on his team, is able to take that shotgun blast to the face, using the dead ring to get out of there. How it appears that the red team were trying to cap the point in a despicable manner and will be ending the game. Rather than hunting him down the spy, it appears that they will be capping the point and that will indeed be game. Moving into the real action now with Saxon Hale on. The blue team against the red, Ed acting as Sexton Hale with 200, uh, 29,000 health against 25 members of the red team. Let's see what we can do in the six minutes that we have. How it appears that he will be giving the GG in a rather sissial manner. I do not encourage this at all. Do some damage, then some excitement. How it appears that there is the backstab followed by the rage and retaliation. The medic is in bad spot. It appears that Sex now will be going after the spy instead. The spy, Sir Darkest, is taken down for the permanently. For this is the first down of the round. Followed by Why So Mo is taken down as well, despite having superior mobility and not even being stunned. Trin, another scout being taken down into confines of the building. How it appears that Saxon is unable to get any more kills before the Uber is popped. How it appears that Saxon the scout, will be taken down. The stun coming too late to save either of them. How it appears that he's going after another scout. The scouts have suffered the worst from this round in the early game. At least three of them going down in the first. How it appears that the heavy, despite having the overcharge by the medic will be taken down with a single critical hit. A DX the scout is also taken down. Another scout going down giving the total to at least five. Saxon now going down the corner. He has allowed the central position to be leveled up to level two on the crate. Let's see how he do how he deals with this. Money. Having lost him most briefly it appears that he's taking cover from the position. And he's able to take down D Wick Whittaker. Rather interesting name, in a rather interesting position. He was taken down very easily. How it appears he's trying to get the spy. The spy indeed will be taken down. A significant amount of damage potential for the red team taken off the field. How it appears that the sentry has been leveled up to level 3. And as a result, we'll be able to shoot rockets. But there is the rage. Will we see it go down? It appears the sector had a small bit of trouble, but he's able to take it down. Taking the sentry down with that engineer. Ignoring the sentry entirely and taking down the engineer. 
and allowing the sentry to go down with him. The dispenser is cleaned up as well. Saxon now ignoring the shaft through his face right now, going into the blue spawn, only the super jump into a better position, able to gank this other engineer, or is it Gutter? Taking down the dispenser soon after. Now with only 14 members of the red team, they are trying to desperately keep their last engineer alive. The engineer has taken a significant amount of time to set up this position, moving in very late to the crate position, and is only as a result left his sentry to level 1. However, there is the raise that pays that the pyro will be able to keep him alive. However, using the air blast to keep him at range. This engineer and this sentry will be staying alive. How it appears that Saxonel has gained aggro on the soldier. How it appears that Elite Muffin will be taken down with a very accurate super jump by Saxonel. Using the super jump to get in position, it appears that the pyro now moving in with the air blast once again. However, his engineer is now isolated, the red team backing off, allowing the dispenser to be taken. However, there is the Uber charge as Saxonel is sent to the other side of the cliff. The Uber Charge is switched to the Pyro, the Pyro charging in despite the Medic backing out. The Pyro, however, was able to keep himself alive as Saxonel did not go for the kill. The Scout is in a bad spot and is taken down. Spontaneous Kid being taken down from behind as he was caught out of position. Using the Super Dump to get into the building as the Medic pops the Uber Charge on the Spy. The Saxonel attempts to juke them, does successfully get outside the building, going back inside the building, has isolated the Medic and the Medic does go down, having no Uber Charge to defend himself with. The spy, however, does get back into position. The sentry is still up, but there is the rage. Nigo Leo will be taken down, unable to activate the dead ringer due to that rage, and the medic scout combo is taken down as well. The medic was unable to heal the scout and gain the speed he would have from healing him, and was taken down in an easy cleanup by Saxonel. Now, with only six members on the red team, the engineer is the last remaining valuable member on this team. The soldier, however, is doing a very valiant job of defending this sentry. Using the knockback of the direct hit, which has a smaller blast radius to keep Saxonel at range by juggling him and allowing the sentry to send him back. Very effective combo, and it appears that Ed will be bringing it on, bro. After he's, he's moving in with a sentry position. There is indeed the rage, but he is caught in a bad position. But the engineer instead to trying to run out of there is taken down, followed by the soldier. The sniper now the last one on the crate as the sentry gun is taken down. The sniper, however, gets the hell out of there, as he very well shitted. As he very well should, the Pyro however doing a small bit of damage, sacrificing his ammo and ability to air blast. However, the Medic comes in with the Uber Charge, popping it on the Scout instead. Swinging between them and losing a lot of seconds that he could have used to deal some damage to the close range Saxon Hail. Saxon now goes for a small dip to get rid of that fire effect, reducing the damage done by that Pyro to a minimum. Medic, however, was in a bad spot. He was trying to get a few bits of damage and gain a small amount of Ubercharge using the syringe gun. However, Saxonel did not spot him in time. We only have one minute left on Clay with his dead end. The Medic, once again, is in a bad spot using the Ubercharge. Yes, there is indeed the Ubercharge. He is able to get out there and keep himself on the field for now. Now with only 45 seconds, it appears that Cheese Rag will be giving the GG, having no defensive def abilities as a sniper. He did not want to take that hit and lose the points and as a result took himself off the field early to avoid the hit. However, the Pyro is now trying to defend this scout. The scout does have the speed necessary to outrun him, but has Saxon now taken enough damage to be able to outrun this scout? Unknown, as he goes into the building trying to juke around them, there is a super jump. And it appears that the Medic will be taken down with that hit. Unfortunately, we were unable to see that. But Saxon now has reduced the red team to two members, and as a result, we'll be able to cap the point and go into overtime. However, the, the red team do have a Pyro and a Scout. If they work effectively together, they will be able to keep Saxon now off the point to let things go into a stalemate if they can't beat him. However, it appears that he's able to get to the higher point on the capture using the raid to take down that scalp. However, indeed, it appears that Ed will be able to take down the pyro as well, and that is indeed game. What's the matter, girls? Don't you want to live for me? Three, two, one.